good morning good evening good afternoon everyone welcome in Salesforce epics hour today we are going to learn about the flow approval process we are already using the classic approval process from a long time now the Salesforce is moving toward the flow so now Salesforce also come up with the approval process into the flow if you want to get approval process using the flow let's see how to do it so first of all uh, from the app launcher find the app called approval where you can see all the approval process settings here you can see all my pending approval and want to see what all approval process you created you can also see over here as well as your pending items and any submission pending for you if you want to create a new approval process just go here and click on this once you click on this there are two way you can use the wizard or start from the scratch so let's see how uh, let's see how we can create by wizard then we also see by scratch so here once you go here just give the name approval process demo now you can define how many levels you want to create let's take an example level one and then you want to add any action then say yes and you want to add a, a recall path then also click on this and then click on that so uh, salesforce will be automatically create a approval process for you from a template where you can see this is auto launch flow approval which will be not triggered and then it say the step one uh, immediately run and there will be approval process and if you want to recall the recall step is here the added is step here where they are calling the uh, different uh, path and then you have to assign what is the user who will be approving the request as well as like if it is approved or reject the action would be there and then you can define your action on the approval as well as on rejection then it will be over so this is what automatically it's come but if you want to create it manually uh, let's see how to do it uh, let's click on the setup go to the flow we'll go with our traditional way instead of using the template like this you can use this as a reference if you want to use you can go further but let's create uh, step by step so click on that new flow then select the record trigger flow from the record trigger flow we will be going to use the record trigger flow approval process click on this so once you click on this you have to select when it should be work and which object it should be work so let's take an example we want to create an approval process on opportunity whenever the discount would be more than 10 percent we need to submit it for the approval process and there is approval status field we have an opportunity that should be approved and rejected should be updated so let's select opportunity when all the condition will be met and what is my condition let's say discount greater than 10 percent so every time meet the condition it should execute or you can say subsequently meet the condition now click on save now here you can add a path let's take an example uh, add a path like i want to add a stage so that is what my approval process st stage one you can add a multiple stage also and once you add like if you want to add a uh, recall path also then click on the recall path automatically it will be create a recall path for you the recall path is nothing if you want to submit approval and you want to recall you by clicking on this one you can add a uh, step what you, action you want to take it and then from here you can also add a stage that what you can say we call stage now let's see let's add a step here let's add a step so let's add a approval step so let's say approval step one and here you can define the action so let's take an uh, uh, approval process so here we have a standard step called approval flow we are will use it it's nothing it's, it's a wizard a skin flow where you can see you can 
click a record for submit for approval and you have an option to approve and reject and the comment section and based on that it will be passed the output to you now go back and the approval process will be submitted to whom you want to submit you can select manually let's assume i'm sending to Amit Chaudhary and you can send a custom email template if you want to but i'm using the standard i'm not using it so i'm not uh, clicking on this then select the record which record you want to uh, submit so let's say record trigger then id opportunity id the same opportunity which you are using and if you want to lock the record just click on the log if you want to allow approval to edit the record you can allow if you don't want to lock the record don't click otherwise click on lock and let's do it and then uh, now i want whenever the uh, step will be approved and rejected if it is approved the field on opportunity called approval status should be marked as approved and if it is rejected then it should be marked as rejected so let's click on a uh, uh, here and select the decision is approved or rejected is approved and then let's add the condition here so approve or rejected will become from the approval step one so let's say stage one then we have a approval star and then we have an output from the output we have a field called approval decision select that one and um, if it is approved it will become as approved if it is reject it will become as a reject so i'm putting that as approved and default one as a reject now i have two element if it is approved do this if it is reject do that so i want to do a field update on approval so that let's add an action here so i will be st add st one more stage so if it is approved what you want to do you can define your work here and let's take an example here i want to add a background process to do the field update click on this or you can add a multiple step as well if you want to multi multiple step approval but let's say update approval status now from the condition you can add a condition you can add another subflow to set the uh, approval stage i already have one subflow which is updating the approval status i'm selecting that one let's see how it is look like it's a very simple one uh auto trigger auto launch flow where we are just uh, we are using and we are passing the opportunity record from that i am fetching the uh, fetching the opportunity record and just updating the opportunity stage is approved similarly we have one more where we are passing the opportunity id and updating the opportunity status as a rejected so we'll use the existing flow i'm using this one and then pass the record id so it will be again our trigger record id and you can select and which user should be run now this is done similarly you can add one more step for rejection rejected stays and add action i'm adding a background process to Here also I will be select my another approval post, uh, up, uh, flow which I already have it that is also doing the same thing just updating based on the opportunity record ID just updating the status as uh, rejected. So I did here both the things and after that I will say add. So my approval process is almost done. So what we are doing on the on the click of uh, on the record creation and update if the discount is more than 10 then what we are doing is we added approval process and there is a, we added a staff and we have added a recall staff and the recalls also you can update the status as something else or and then we added a approval process here where we are submitting this record to amit 
and then locking this record and passing the record id and then what we are doing is if it is approved then we are doing this we are doing the one field update as approved otherwise we are doing the field update as a rejected let's save this okay there's no error let's activate so my approval process is active now let's see how to use it so if you want to use it just go to the sales app then click on the opportunity and from here you can create opportunity let me see the existing opportunity or the new thing here you cannot use the opportunity uh, approval history here for that you have to use the opportunity trace so let's update opportunity page first i'm going on a page and let me add the approval trace so the new component called approval trace added here that will be show you the approval history for you save this one and activate now go to the opportunity let's create a new opportunity so i'm saving this record so you can see i created this record uh, appro approval status is blank and discount is also nothing and there's no record submitted so let me go back and update this uh, approvals discount uh, let me update this discount as a 60 and save this now you can see that let's refresh this page the record is submitted for approval here you can see the code is submitted and assigned to Amit Chaudhary now you can go and click on this record see the record detail whatever you submitted and then click on uh, approver can go and click on review and either he can approve or reject so let's approve this one and you can add a comment also then click on approved now go back to the opportunity and see what's happened with the opportunity so you can see your opportunity is approved and status is marked as approved so that's all we have today and also if you see refresh this one the status of uh, approval work item is also marked as approved here thank you everyone